Hey guys, Al Portrait Thief here, and we're back on our Let's Build World in this default landscape, doing our four square house number one. So, this is the third part of this short series, and today we'll be doing more of the planning, I guess you could say, and on the second floor this time, but as you can see in between episodes, I kind of built up the walls. I'm left spaces to make windows in if we were going to have windows in those spots. Kind of framed out the house and did the ceiling and floor in between the levels. So this is what it looks like down here. I haven't really done much. Um, I should probably light this up though. I always forget to do that usually. Uh, so let's just throw some lights in so it's not dark for you guys. Um, probably one in here. There we go, and it's this third one here. So, um, as you can see, I left this open over here now, um, because this is going to be this a covered porch, basically, by the second floor. The second floor is going to go all the way out here, and there will be, like, a support pillar, I guess. So that means we can just bring this uh, floor all the way across here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Um... Yeah, so, um, I was thinking, tell me if you guys think this idea is good. I should, like, do the question of the day thing where I ask a question for you guys, and you guys can reply to it, so I can kind of get to know you guys a little better, stuff about Minecraft or pretty much anything, I guess, or maybe just what you guys want me to do in my series, you can tell me stuff in the comments and stuff, um, I think that's a pretty cool idea. Uh, so this is basically how the house is going to be <clears throat> on the second floor, just a rectangle down here. We cut this out because we want the porch thing here. So we can just cover this up real quick. Um, that's how it will look. We'll do this later, probably in the next episode maybe. Um, but this is the first floor. Now let's go up to the second floor. I don't know why I went inside. Um, yeah, so now for kind of like the floor plan of the second level. So the stairs come up over here. Um, let's see, this space right here is kind of small, so maybe we could do a bathroom here. Um, that may work. Let's see, where would these go? So that could stay there, or be deleted. <clears throat> Um, I'm thinking, kind of do something like this. I don't know if this would look good or not. No, I don't think that looks good. Could do that maybe though. That kind of helps blend it. Maybe even some slabs here. Oh, you can't do that. I don't know, I can't tell if that looks better or this. Or this. Alright, you can't do that. Um, I'll just do that for now, see how it turns out. Um, so we wouldn't do that, would we? No. We could do this, though, where we have that. Um, that would work. Okie doke. Um, more stairs here so we can just take this wall up. Um, I kind of like the idea of having a bathroom back here. So I think maybe a wall here. Then that could even allow us to do this. And this. If we do have a wall here then it wouldn't look as weird, so that may be a good idea. Um, and where's the ceiling for this level? I think it's here. Yeah. So let's just bring this over here, so we kind of have a spot to work off of when doing the ceiling. Um, yeah. So let's bring it over here so we can't see the roof anymore. There we go. So, let's see, how far should we do this? I'm thinking, 
if you just to the end of the stairs. Because I have a wall. So it's kind of isolated and the stairs don't take up the good view of the house. So you come up and then you see everything. It's not like off to the side. Then we wouldn't have to make any rails or anything. Because it's against some walls. Um, back here I'm thinking we have some rooms over here. So, um, maybe we could have the bathtub back here, then this, like, continuous out, I guess. Um, I don't know where I would make the wall, though. Um, this could be a bathroom. Maybe come out here more. And we could have, like, Toilet, sink, maybe the bowl here. Would this work? Oh. Could even do something like that. Hmm. Could have a corner thing. Um. I'm thinking this do this. And we can bring this over here. Cover it up. And we're all good. So let's just kind of surround this with the ceiling. Um, maybe this way a little bit. We'll just extend off of this as we progress through the house. Um, so walls here. Where would we have the door? Probably over here. Maybe here. And we could this. I know that's not quartz, but we'll see what we want to actually do later. And um, we can, yeah, we can even take that out and leave some extra room. Not here though. There we go. So that's the bathroom. I'm thinking a master bedroom over here because it's kind of in the front with the big windows. Oh, and then this could actually be like. Wow. I guess this could be the master bedroom then. I mean, master bathroom connected to the bedroom. Didn't think about that. That would work though. Um, then this could be like a closet here maybe. A walk-in closet. Um, for the bedroom that's here. And this looks like a good size for a master bedroom. So, I'm thinking we walk up here. Whoops. Walk up here. And we turn, we come this way, maybe, let's see, this looks like a good size of a room, so maybe cut it off here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. And we could have the closet like this. I'm just trying to make it, <laughs> uh, let's see, if this is the wall for the room, does this room look good enough size, uh, I don't know, maybe we just have this closet actually come out this way more, just maybe one walk. Let me extend this. So break all this down. It was kind of pointless, but okay. That's how we get it to be good. Let's do pointless stuff. And it turns out okay. Um, so I think this will work. And then maybe just bring it all the way across. Yeah. I'll just do that. It makes it more simple. Um, we can change it if we want. But I think that's okay for now. Um, so this will be a closet uh, right here. Maybe just have it stick out a little bit so we have some extra room in it. Give it some depth. Yeah, that looks like a good size. There we go. And then this wall will just continue here. We could have paintings on it on the outside and the inside if we want. 
Um, uh, we gotta pick where we want the door though. Um, maybe just have the bed over here somewhere. So that would be able to have the door maybe right here, I guess. Would that look good from over here? Yeah. Okay, so that allows us to have pretty much the middle area of the house right here. Because we could enter all the rooms from this area. Um, so thinking we have a bedroom here and here and another bathroom and then maybe like a dryer and washer in front of here so let's make this into kind of a hallway right here so three should be good so we'll kind of make this little intersection here um, bring this over because I said I would expand it as we build the rooms um, I'll just leave that room with no ceiling for now because we don't need that room at the moment so let's bring this out to here and voila um, so I kind of want to create this into a little hallway right here after the stairs into the big uh, kind of entrance area to all the rooms so that should serve us well right there um, let's see. That should probably be good enough. Um, like that, because this will be kind of the laundry room right here. Because we'll have doors going to it. I should probably get some doors out and place them. So, um, maybe right here laundry room doors or maybe oh, that should be good let's see when we walk in probably have a block and then um, maybe some shelves or something maybe even bring this over one like that oops that didn't work um, okay, so, we could cut it off there, I guess, that gives us room to make those machines, and it allows us to create the old hallway after the stairs, which is a good thing, because that's what I was going for, um, so let's extend this out, it's over this room, and over here okay so now we got this little thing we walk out here um i'm thinking bedroom so could we go from here and this way maybe from here that should work then let's just have the door maybe here and then in here where would the wall be maybe it's coming from the corner like this and then on the inside of it this could be the wall but we could have a closet for both rooms in between so probably make a wall here and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, basically, you can walk in, and there will be like, a closet like over here. Why do the doors do that? I hate that. Like this. So you'd have a little closet kind of thing in the room. Oops. Then on this side, it, this looks like a flat wall. Then over here, you could have a closet for this room. 
where it looks like they're pretty much the exact same thing, but in a different spot. And it allows for this. Oops. These two rooms to have closets. There we go. Um, so I think that should work out. Um, and this looks like a giant thick wall now. But, um, let's see, the rooms look about even, so that's a good thing, I guess. Don't want to have unfairness with the room making here. Um, unless you want a small room for a child. But this should work. So let's put in some ceiling real quick as we progress once again. Um, so I think this has been pretty productive. Let's keep making these rooms, and we're almost done with them. Because I just gotta make this bedroom over here, and then a bathroom, I guess. Because I don't think there's any other rooms I really need. And one of the bedrooms could even be like an office or like a study area, or we could make a bonus room in like a study area. But we'll see. Um, I don't know what to do here. Let's bring this up all the way, I guess. Like this. I'll probably, like, f make sure I filled all that in so nothing spawns there. Um, let's bring this wall back now for this room. Ugh. Let's make sure there's no, like, holes in the wall. Um cut this off here there we go so can just bring these in real quick just to close it off a little bit more um we kind of need all here okie doke so let's see here um we'll have this room same spot, then maybe this a door, same kind of spot, so there's three between, just like the wall, and then over here I have two, let's see, would that work for this wall, because we need a bathroom over here, um, because this have this go all the way across, so this would be the whole bathroom, does that look good enough, I think that's a good enough space. So we'll bring this up and complete the walls for the second floor. Just like this. And probably no windows in here. Once again, it's a bathroom. It'd be a little weird. Except it's on the second floor, so maybe not. Um, but we need some light because we just closed off this area. Open those, maybe. Um, bring this wall up. There we go. So this is kind of the room I was talking about where there could be a carpet here. Then entrance to all the rooms. Um, maybe even have these rooms move forwards a little bit. And have some extra space. I'll do that off camera if I'm going to. Um... Or maybe we could just have like a closet. We could have a closet here next to the bathroom because it's kind of like the utility closet, I guess. With all your towels and cleaning supplies, I guess. I think that's what they do. And in here, to have this little indent. There we go. Then we could have like shower back here and door here there we go that works out it gives it some depth and changes it up a little bit maybe just a pull there but that's pretty much it for this episode i'll finish up the ceilings like this little hole here um i'll finish up the ceilings make the windows prepared for next episode when i actually make them and then we can get on to the detailing and stuff so if you guys enjoyed, please remember to leave a rating, comment with your feedback, and subscribe for more content like this in my survival series. This has been App Orchard Thief, and goodbye.